now what is up everybody my name is mike brown aka review king mb and i just got back from the theaters after seeing jigsaw and you know what i'm gonna include this in my 31 days of horror movie reviews jigsaw is a 2017 film that is technically the eighth installment in the saw franchise but yet they're calling it jigsaw now Okay, it is written and directed by the Spirig brothers and the plot is it revolves very simple very straightforward It revolves around this group of people who have been rounded up. They're put into this house or abandoned The shed or whatever the hell they are They're put in these saw traps levels of saw traps and it plays out mostly like any other saw sequel that you've seen before this group of people that have to figure out either if they can work together or slowly just get each other killed off one by one in these traps but also we follow these two detectives who are trying to figure out this case how the hell is jigsaw back is it a copycat is it somebody who's just so obsessed with the jigsaw killer and they want to be like him or is jigsaw himself still alive now what i thought of jigsaw is honestly i thought this movie was just okay just okay i didn't love it and i didn't hate it either it's one of those situations where i think if you're a saw fan you're gonna get some enjoyment out of it and i did i got some enjoyment out of it it, it gave me a little bit of a fix from the lack of saw in my life the last seven years but honestly when you break it down when you get to some of these traps or you get to the story especially you almost feel like was this needed <laughs> was there really a point to this movie being made in the last other than just <laughs> banking on the saw name and making a few extra bucks on it i'm a little disappointed in that sense I will say that uh, this group of, of people who are trapped in, in this place and they're being put through these traps. A lot of Canadian actors, I looked them all up and a lot of them I don't know. I've never seen before. Uh, but one of them is Mandela Van Peebles, who I just found interesting because he's the son of Mario Van Peebles, a guy who I haven't seen in quite a while interesting and also another one laura vandervoort uh i know her from smallville and a few other things so it was cool to see her here even though her character was pretty unlikable for many reasons but all of them are unlikable in some way shape or form because they've all done bad things that's why they're put into the situation and that's what i've always liked about the saw movies is that you're presented some characters who at first seem like innocent people at first seem like they're victims and they're being put through this torturous stuff and then you find out their story and then you find out that they actually might deserve to be in these situations so you don't care as much when they get killed or just brutally mutilized but this movie, I, I, I didn't feel a whole lot for these people. I didn't care as much about them. The saw traps, like I said, uh, some of them are kind of cool or inventive and creative. But other ones, I'm like, wow, that's, that's too big. That's too far. That's not what the Saw franchise should be about. Yeah, there came a point even in the original Saw movies as they went on with each sequel that the traps became what they made it for the traps just you came to see what traps they came up with what big elaborate huge devices that no way one person could do it by themselves so you had to bring in some apprentices and you had to do this and that but now jigsaw has been dead for so long and this movie has that mystery on what's going on here is it yet another apprentice is it just some random kook who is obsessed with the guy and wants to recreate the murders or the movie even suggests that maybe John Kramer, Tobin Bell, Jigsaw's back, which, okay. And I watched a couple of interviews before I saw this movie and it was the two producers and Tobin Bell himself talking about why they came back, 
why they decided to do another Saw movie after all these years later. And they said, well, they read the script of this movie and they loved it. And they, and they loved the twist, especially. I'm not going to spoil what happens here. I'm not going to give anything away. But I will say this. When I saw the twist, I thought, really? That's what you guys love so much about this movie? Or oh, the script? That's why you wanted to do it so bad? This honestly wasn't anything special. This honestly wasn't anything that made me go like, wow, I have the same feeling I did at the end of the first saw. It's like, no, I don't. This seems like your typical run-of-the-mill, just generic type saw sequel that it feels like this was made just one year after that last one. But it had been so many years, I was expecting more. I was expecting the story to be a little smarter and just a little bit more going on. And I didn't feel like we got that. Look, I'm not going to rant and rave and complain a whole lot because I didn't hate the movie. I just... And I rewatched all of the Saw films in preparation for this. So it's not like I've outgrown the Saw movies. I still love and enjoy a majority of them and like all of them. This is just another one to where I'll add it to the collection. I'll say, yeah, I own it. But again, I... I don't love it. I'm not blown away by it. It's not something that I'm itching for a sequel to. It's not something that I want. I don't want to see more Saw movies at this point. I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just kind of like, hey, I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad I know what's going on here. But if I were to rate this movie, I honestly would give it a rental. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you too saw Jigsaw. Did you love it more than I did? Trust me, I'm a huge Saw fan, so I wanted to love it even more. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Society, I'm just a madman. Oh,